Right, right, guys. I am Anna. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. We have exactly three most wonderful times of the year. It's when the new season in Diablo 3 is dropping. And now we are waiting for season 27. Really soon it will be here. What a beautiful witch talk I have here. Guys, in this video I will show you all the tips and tricks how you can level your new brand new character in the new new season really easy really quick and uh, really really nice so guys let's go let's create the new character okay here we are we are choosing i am choosing which doctor i will be leveling which doctor in the new season and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys also will be leveling which doctor because which doctor got us acting really nice buff really nice legendary powers in the new season and let me show you how to make your witch talk the journey the start of your witch talk the journey really really nice in this video i'll also uh, say things so uh, explain things about other characters but uh we gonna be enjoying the witch talk anyway so uh, here is our witch doctor. Always choose female witch doctor because female witch doctor is plus 10 to awesomeness. And uh, here we are. We are chicken witch doctor. Don't forget to press that it's a seasonal character. And we are going. Here is our beautiful chicken witch doctor. But for now, we are forgetting about this character. Right in the beginning of the season, after you created your character, you are going into the challenge rift section and you're doing a challenge rift. Guys, as always, don't do the challenge rift before the seasonal start, the seasonal drop. Uh, season always is starting, all the seasons are starting on Friday, 5 p.m. your server time. And guys, it's really important this week uh, do not do the challenge shift. The challenge shift will be available already on Monday for you, but you are again not doing it till Friday, till the seasonal start. Because this way you are getting the challenge shift reward, challenge shift kasha, and you will be able to use it on your brand new character in the brand new season. This kasha has a lot of a lot of resources, a lot of gold, a lot of other mats, everything that will allow you to start to level your character really, really nice. So don't do the challenge rift, ultimate must. Okay, guys, but we imagine, yeah, in this video that the season is already here. Your brand new character is here. Uh, you just did the challenge rift. You just did the. Uh, you just get the got those cash. You just got the challenge rift back, and you're going into the adventure mode and you're switching the difficulty into master or tournament. Uh, it will be more than enough. It's okay, and you're starting the game. Here we are. We are going into Act 1, just because it's more comfortable for me to go into Act 1. You can start the game wherever you want. And the first thing that you are doing, well, you're opening your Challenge Rift back, Challenge Rift Kasha. Picking up all the resources that you have and you're upgrading your blacksmith, your jeweler and your mistake. Yeah, it's when here I am filming this video when my, everything is upgraded already, guys. But you know that in the beginning of the season, everything here will be not upgraded. It will be leveled one and it will be really weird. So you upgraded everything. Then you are going to the follower, to your follower, to the Templar you are taking the follower items because and this is the mystery of Diablo 3 no one knows why but in the beginning of the game your follower has the better items than you has better items than you do so look at this just look at this spear it has already plus 180 percent more damage than your ceremonial knife and it's guys it is the same for absolutely every character in this game. It's not like just which doctor has a weak weapon. No, absolutely every character in this game has weaker weapons than the followers weapons. That's why we're always stealing here some items, throwing away our ceremonial knife, our weapon, we don't need it. And we are going to the merchant and buying us something nice, some beautiful gear here. 
uh, yep, 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 we will have some gold from the uh, Chen Shui's bag. That's why it's really easy. We can immediately start building our character. Here we are. Not and now, guys, look at this. We already not naked. We already like uh, have a lot of a lot of power. So let's go. What I am always doing in the beginning of uh, every season, I am doing Zoltan Cool or Magda Bounty. Here we don't have Zoltan Cool or Magda Bounty. They are all not available. Here uh, you need the bounty that will be exactly kill Zoltan Cool. This is an optional step, guys. You can do this. You don't have to do this. Uh, why I'm doing this? Because by this, you are first in completing your first bounty. You're getting the bounty chest. And there, you can get quite nice, wonderful items. A uh, couple of uh, yellow items already you will be able to equip on your character. And this is the easy way how you will get your first levels. Uh, when you will do this, you will be already like uh, level 4. It is easy on master difficulty because Magda and Zoltan Cool are quite easy bosses and it's easy to reach them. The best here, the best of the best options here, Zoltan Cool, of course. Magda, for Magda, you will have to run a little bit to, um, to her. But uh, for me personally, always worth it. Quite often getting the quite really nice items uh, from this. And it's just a nice way to have your start in the season. But you don't have to do this. You can immediately go and pick up the coop. The coop will be available in the Act 3 Ruins of Sacheron. Every time, guys, when we are starting the season, we don't have this magnificent device. Zoltan Cool here is he's lonely, he doesn't have the coop, he suffers. So we need to go and pick up the coop. For picking up the coop, it's okay if you will lower the difficulty. The Ruins of Session is a gigantic, gigantic map, and it's totally fine if you will uh, lower a couple of levels if you will go do it on hard. Uh, by the time when you will complete this map and by the time when you will pick up your coop you will be already probably level 9 or 10 because there is a lot of monsters you will be anyway killing something and um, also you will already reach couple of levels we got the coop zoltan cool is happy now and why we even cared so early in the game about the coop when we don't have so much power and here start we are starting the mighty process of uh, getting extra powers for your character, cheating a little bit and getting us unlimited powers to fly to level 70 really quick. Guys, we gonna get ourselves a weapon. So, from the challenge back, we got some mats, we got the resources and we're gonna use them now. What you're doing, you are going to the blacksmith and you are crafting level 70 weapon. We are doing this, you can't wear a level 70 weapon, but we are crafting a rare yellow level 70 weapon, then to put it in the coop and to upgrade it and get ourselves a level 70 legendary weapon. But again, but again, you can't use it until you actually reach level 70. Yeah, guys, you can't use it, but you can extract the legendary power and use this legendary power as your multiplier in the coop in your first slot. Why we usually go in for the weapon for all the characters once again? Because usually the weapons have the best multipliers, really like a lot of power you can get from the weapons. And guys, where, which weapon, what do we need to craft for which character for this information? You are going to Max Troll website and you are going to Kadala page. This page is allowing you to see all the items that are available for every character. For which doctor we will be rolling and rocking the weapon, guys. And the classic which doctor weapon is ceremonial knife. But I never recommend to go for ceremonial knife. I never recommend upgrading ceremonial knives because which doctor has a lot of ceremonial knives here, guys. But only a couple of them is actually useful and will give you a nice damage multiplier. That's exactly what we need for the coop. Well, we, you will be really happy if you will get here the barber, and you will be really happy if you will get the dog of that. Also, cool weapon for leveling is the Spider Queen's Grab. 
grasp. So we have three useful ceremonial knife and a lot of a lot of ceremonial knives that will actually make you unhappy. You can't use during the leveling, then they will bring you absolutely nothing. That's why the chances to get a nice damage multiplier on Witch Doctor here are quite low. But Witch Doctor has a nice little trick. You can go for on Witch Doctor, you can go for the spear. Where it is? Here it is. Here we have it. Uh, the spears that are available on Witch Doctor, there are only two spears available. Uh, available. It's Imperial Messenger and it is a Shrimso. And Shrimso will give a damage multiplier for Zombie Charger skill on Witch Doctor. This is a skill that's available on Ready from level 14 on Witch Doctor, so super early in the game. And you will immediately have a damage multiplier for this skill. This is not an ultimately insanely like crazy 1000% damage multiplier, it's only 6-7 times more damage you will be dealing. But it is a safe choice, you will most likely get this weapon uh, and you most likely will put it in the coop. So I personally think that it's a nice choice here because with the, unfortunately with the ceremonial knives it's more, it's unlikely that you will get this something useful tried many times uh, you need to be really lucky to get a nice ceremonial life from upgrade here okay guys for other characters a lot of people i believe will be starting necromancer and necromancer is a godly character for leveling because necromancer has pretty much a 100 percent upgrade not pretty much just 100 percent upgrade Classic choice for Necromancer is to roll a two-handed set because there are four two-handed six available for the Necromancer and all of them are absolutely godly. They all have insane damage multipliers. They all will make you really, really happy. This season you can try your luck and go also with one-handed set on the uh, necromancer try to upgrade one handed sets because funerary pick was upgraded it was changed now it's also buffing siphon blood it's also um, here on the website is not updated yet but you will be getting a nice damage multiplier for siphon blood for from this weapon so it's also a nice choice here and the chances are pr pretty high that you will get it here because other seats here, unfortunately, if you will get the uh, Jezef sc Skull seat, it's a sad seat, this will not help you at all. But other two are also not bad. They will also increase your damage, increase the damage of your skills here. So, chances are quite good, quite nice chances here with one-handed seat as well. Okay, guys, other characters. Also, amazing character for leveling is demon hunter why because the chances are godly for the demon hunter as always guys for demon hunter you're always going for the daggers you're upgrading the dagger in the coop because again the chances are 100 either you will get the carly point and it's increasing the damage of impale or you're going for uh, or you will get lord greenstone funds increasing the damage of your fun of knives uh, absolutely awesome, I should say. For Barbarian, we're going for two-handed mighty weapon, guys. And also, we are just checking the weapons here. We see the weapons that has an insane damage multipliers. Gavel of Judgment, Hammer of the Ancient Dam Damage Multiplier. Fury of the Vanished Peak, insane damage multiplier for the Seismic Slam. Amazing. Blade of the Tribes, damage multiplier for the Earthquake ever. Earthquake and avalanche oh, other weapons here they are not so cool and would be better if you will not get it if you will not get them but the damage but the chances are quite high that you will be lacking this because there are not so many options you will get something nice here okay for wizard you are going for the one classic wizard weapon here would be nice if you will get serpent sparker for example it's a nice damage multiplier for hydra it would be cool if you will get fragment of destiny it's just buffing insanely your signature spells 
Unstoppable Scepter will increase the damage of Arcane Orb and the Wand of Four, increasing the damage of Explosive Blast. Uh, there are a couple of cool options, but unfortunately there are also a lot of not so cool options. That's why Visit is usually not the first choice for leveling. Also, what do we have here? Monk is here. For Monk, we are going for Diablo here. And the nice options will be Balance, increase damage for Tempest Rush, and Incense Torch of the Grand Temple, increase damage of Wave of Light. Other items here, other weapons here, unfortunately not so good. They will not bring too much joy to us, and that's why it's kind of hard a little bit with the Monk here. And what's left? Crusader here. For Crusader, we are going also for Crusader weapon, for the flail. Nice options here, amazing options here would be Dark Light. It's increasing damage of Feast of Heavens by 1000%. Also cool to have Gear Falcon Foot. The damage of Blessed Shield will be increased insanely. Jonas Argument increases the attack speed and damage of Blessed Hammer by 100%. And guys, that's pretty much it for Crusader. Those three weapons will be amazing. Other, not so cool, but it's anyway, the chances are pretty nice for Crusader here. On my beautiful Witch Doctor, guys, in the new season, I will go for the Spear, because the chances are here really nice, pretty much guaranteed upgrade. Even though the damage is not so high from the Spear, it's way, way better than just not get anything if you will go for a Ceremonial Knife. Here you can see how hard it is to actually get the right Ceremonial Knife. Guys, and during the season, from the Challenge Rift Kasha, from the Challenge Rift Bag, you will have the mats only for one try. Here on non season, I can show you with a lot of a lot of upgrades, yeah, with a lot of chances. But during the season, in the beginning, you actually will have only one try. And now we are going to Kadala. In the Challenge Rift Bag, guys, we're gonna have some Blood Shrouds and they will allow us to try our luck at Kadala, guys. For every character you are trying to get uh, from Kadala, again, some nice damage multipliers, some items from Kadala with the beautiful effects. Uh, where to see which items, what do I need for each character? And here again, we are going to Max Roll Kadala website. On Kadala page, on Kadala Gambling Concluder, we you will be able to see which items will be available really early in the game when you're gambling at Kadala. So what we need to do on this website, we just need to switch the level to one and you will be able to see all the items for each character that will drop from Kadala if you will gamble at level one. All of those items has a chance to drop. Uh, the chances are, well, different for uh, from item to item, but you also can see it here. Average means this is the average amount of blood shards that you need to spend to get this or that item here. So we see that to get squirt necklace, you need to spend on average 1000 blood shards. Not necessarily it will be you particularly will spend 1000, maybe you will be lucky and you will get your squirt necklace from the first try. But usually this is not happening. First you need to spend at least 1000 blood shards. So guys, what you're doing here, you are searching items with the lowest amount of blood shards that you need to gamble them. And also you are just searching for cool items. Items that also have maybe a damage multiplier. Maybe they will uh, just give you some really nice effects. And for which doctor here, it will be a wonderful choice here, guessing demise. We need only 250 blood shots on average to get a guessing demise really early in the game. And guessing demise is the item, it's the module which is increasing the damage of our spirit barrage. It's awesome and amazing. 
so pretty sure that you will get the guessing demise and you will have some shards left then you can easy peasy go for Leoric crown 500 shots on average but anyway chances are quite nice quite high that you will get it and we know that Leoric crown can be really effective during the leveling because it's increasing the effect of any gem that you're putting in it you're putting when you will find you you're putting the red gem into Leoric crown and you're getting more xp during the leveling it's amazing if you accidentally will have the shots left, you got the lyrics crown, you got guessing demise, then what? What else do you need here? It will be really nice if you will go for Pox Foltrons. They are not the mighty game changer here, but it's just they require low amount of shots here to get. And also, if you still have the shots left, you can just go for, for example, for Leoric Signet Ring or for Homing Pads. Just because you will have a nice legendary item, you will, your character will have a legendary items equipped already so early in the game. For Necromancer here, for what we are going, early in the game, it will be amazing for Necromancer to get the Grasp of Essence gloves. Also, they're really cheap, 250 only you need to spend on average and they will increase the damage of your corpse explosion awesome thing if you get them also go for lyrix crown go for box foldrum also go for cheap versions here um cheap items that you can get but grasp of the essence they're already absolutely amazing necromance is a truly wonderful character to start your season with for wizard let's go for wizard it will be really awesome to try to get the sauce winter fury again it's really cheap and you will be uh, it will be increasing the damage of your hydras if you will be lucky and you get the hydra weapon as well from the upgrade you will have the hydra combo here you will be unstoppable wizard also here is Leoric Crown option, here is Pogs Fouls option here for you, Leoric Sign it, guys. Go for, if you have the shots left, just go for the cheap uh, version, cheap options here from Kadala Gambling website. The next one, for the Demon Hunter, what do we need? It would be sick. It would be nice to get wraps of clarity braces. Uh, they are just keeping you alive. They are not a game changer. They will not buff your character insanely. But it's uh, just nice survivability buff here. Uh, for Demon Hunter, there is nothing that can drastically change. There is nothing that can increase your damage insanely. But it's just nice to have those braces. And after that, go also for Lyric Crown or for Pokes Fault. The next one, Barbarian, here we are. Also, guys, you can go here for braces. They're quite cheap here, only 500, not super cheap, but anyway, quite cheap. And if you will get them, you will have a damage multiplier for Seismic Slam. You will get the damage multiplier for Hammer of the Ancients. That would be amazing for your character. And after this, of course, for Leoric Crown here. For Monk, what do we have here? For Monk, we are going for the Boots. Also, quite cheap here, Rivera Dancers or the crudest boost. Get them and you are unstoppable. Your mystical eyes are unstoppable. That will be really nice. And you can also go, if you still have the shards left, you can go for braces. They're a bit more expensive for Monk, but anyway, they are really, really, really nice. And a mistake, uh, up to 800% 8, 8, increased damage from your tempo Trash. Um, exploding palm deal increased damage or pin the sprite your wave of light slows enemies and wave of light is dealing increased damage so braces for the monk would be also really nice to get and for crusader guys the last one you're going for guard of johanna shield blessed hammer damage is increased again by a lot of percentage if you were lucky and you got the weapon also for the blessed hammer from the upgrades you will be absolutely unstoppable as crusader also guys you can go here for gabriel's vam braces they're also working for blessed hammer guys it's unlimited really powerful combo here for the beginning of the season it will be really nice as always if you have the shots if you still have the shots left here leori crown is waiting for you on crusader as well 
And as I said already, for a witch doctor, we are trying to get the Modra here. Because we need to damage multiplier for Spirit Barrage. Couple of tries and we are getting it. Usually it's pretty much safe choice here usually from all the more uh, you have approximately around five a little bit less than 500 uh, blood shots from the chain shift back so it's pretty safe that you will get the mojo actually here so guys uh, we got the shrimp so in the coop damage multiplier for zombie charger we got guessing demise uh, damage multiplier for spirit beverage but that's not all we're gonna craft now the weapon we're gonna craft 200x level 70 200x that we will be able to wear earlier before we'll actually reach level 70 and this will give us unlimited power how we're gonna do this i'll show you we are going to the blacksmith and we are going to 200x category in the blacksmith and we're choosing level 70 the highest the strongest 200x here guys this is the weapon has really really high damage you will have like five attempts here because the resources from the challenge shift pack they're limited and on this weapon we need to get something in the attributes in the primary attributes in the secondary attributes we need to get something we need to get crowd control in the secondary attributes and life per hit in the primary it's really important if we want to be able to use this item earlier in the game before we reach level 70 so we're gonna craft those axes one by one uh, because um, why wasting resources if on the first one we already get crown control and life per hit then we don't have to craft any other axes so let's go first one here it is so we have crown control here chance to fear on hit Ground control effects, it's everything. Chance to fear, chance to immobilize, chance to chill, chance to freeze, chance to do whatever on hit with an enemy. Uh, we have it here and it is amazing. It's a minimum requirement. Absolute must is a ground control. We unfortunately don't have life per hit in primaries. If we have life per hit in primary attributes, it will be even better. But chance to fear, it's already not bad. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of more tries, maybe we'll be lucky and we'll get life per hit as well. We have chance to stun here and unfortunately no life per hit. Once again, we have here absolutely nothing. Uh, two more tries we have. Chance to chill, no life per hit. and guys we just got the jackpot we got no crown control in the secondary but we got reduced level requirements or by 16 on this weapon you will be away you will be able to wear this weapon already from level 54 this is absolutely amazing this is exactly what we're trying to get on those weapons but usually this is a rare situation usually we're not getting it uh, usually we have crown control and if we're lucky life per hit here but you can be really lucky and just got this weapon already what you can do now uh, you can just no okay that's it you can just uh, reach level 54 and then wear this weapon or you can try to increase your luck because if you are incredibly lucky you will be able to roll here reduced level requirements by 30 maximum amount is 30 so you will be able to wear the weapon from level 40 already and this of course will allow you just to fly to level 70 you will be ultra ultra powerful here uh we gonna roll another weapon the weapon that has chance to fear the weapon that has crown control effects here just to show you how it all will be because this is the scenario that you're actually getting level uh, reduced level requirement from upgrade it's quite rare really we're getting this so now we're gonna go to mystic and we're gonna roll our weapon we have here no like okay amazing amazing weapon let's do it 
we're putting our weapon here and we're rolling the secondary affixes. Uh, we are always choosing not the crown control FX, we are choosing the second one, the different one. Here it is, we have not so many options, only life after each kill, monster grants experience, ignore durability loss and the one that we need, reduced level requirements. If we would get the weapon with life per hit in the primaries, we would have uh, this option would also disappear. We would have only three available version, available options here, which is just increasing our chances to get better, higher, reduced level requirements. It is not critical, just one option, but it's just nice if you are maximizing your chances. So let me roll, let me try, let me show you how it will work. We have here seven or eight tries from the challenge rift back, so we will try. Okay, this was one, this was two, this was three, this was four. We already have it reduced level requirements by 15 here by 16 guys so i even don't know this one so far is better let's try a couple of more a couple of more times this was five this was six seven eight mm, not lucky today in this video guys but you understand you can get everything up to 30 levels you can get here and you will be able to wear this weapon already from level 40 this is amazing uh yep now we have two weapons they are awesome you can wear them as soon as you will reach the required level and you will just fly the last level still level 70 you will fly it's insane enormous power guys what else can you do to improve your, to increase your damage until you reach the required level for your 200x? You can just craft the weapons from the blacksmith. But here we would go for 100x. For Witch Doctor, we would go for 100x because Witch Doctor will be having here Mojo. Uh, uh, guessing Demise, which will improve the damage of our Spirit Barrage. Why then we are not crafting 100x's later in the game to have 100x? Because the damage of 200x is insane. It's so overwhelming. It's so over destroying everything that it's worth here to go for 200x in the late game instead of 100x in the beginning so here we are we are going into 100x and already the first one already awesome from level 5 you can wear it let's craft it here we have it already plus 50 more damage what else what is the next one level 17 already insane amount of damage guys here you can craft a bunch of them and just wear them as soon as you are reaching the required level what else can you use how what should you do how to improve your character how to get more power in the beginning uh, you are buying yourself rings and amulets in act one uh, there is a wonderful merger. They are in every act, but in act one, this guy is located here, far away. This guy from level 7 will be selling rings and from level 10 he will be selling amulets. And uh, this is what you really need in the beginning of the game. They, the rings and amulets, they're quite a nice game changer. You will get a lot of a lot of powers from them by the way just uh, checking the merchant is a nice thing to do from time to time when you're leveling always buy the better items items that will give you more damage okay after all the upgrades after we got all the weapons after we did everything now actually the leveling starts and what are we doing my personal absolutely favorite way how to level a character is the massacre bonus leveling uh, you in this game guys if you're killing a lot of monsters you are if you're killing a lot of monsters quick you are getting more xp the higher the amount of monsters you kill the more xp you will be getting and uh, there is a wonderful map 
map in Actu, there is a Vidian map where it's quite easy to keep this massacre bonus to raise the massacre bonus up because on this map there are a lot of a lot of little bugs it's easy to kill them and the, uh, your massacre bonus amount uh, massacre kills are just flying it's amazing and uh, you can just go to this map clean this map kill all the monsters on this map and then repeat it over and over and over again until you reach level 70. Uh, on this map it's quite off you will be getting also the cursed chest it's also absolutely amazing nice xp buff you will be getting there or if you are annoyed, if you uh, can't repeatedly do the same map or, uh, all uh, over again, you can also, also what I like to do, I am doing the Nephilim Rift. Again, guys, can be quite nice, can be easy to keep the Massacre bonus up. Uh, you are killing the other boss, it's giving you nice XP and it's also giving you items you will be getting a lot of items here you will be constantly upgrading your character upgrading the damage that you are dealing it's amazing So guys, and this is the way you are killing a lot of a lot of monsters and you are leveling, you are reaching level 70. Which doctor is quite a nice character to do this also because of the skills that which doctor has really early in the game, like from the very beginning of the game, uh, which doctor has range skills and which doctor has also really early in the game pets. Pets are wonderfully tanking the enemies and which and range skills are allowing to keep again the massacre bonus up to uh, shoot everyone from far away. So which doctor is a quite a nice choice here for leveling. Okay guys, and what are we doing when we're actually reaching level 70? Dancing! Amazing, we're finally level 70. But what's next? What, what should I do now? Guys, you need to complete the first four pages of the seasonal journey. All the tasks there, they're really easy. They're existing just to show you around, just to show all the things that you can do in the new season. So you will be doing their bounties, you will be killing there a lot of elite monsters, uh, a lot of bosses. And after you will complete first four pages, guys, you will get your first legendary set. For which doctor in the next season, it will be Helltooth. And Helltooth will be buffing your pets it's a nice set in the beginning of the season and now it's time to farm to get yourself our seasonal legendary power our angelic power in the next season guys in season 27 this and one of the angelic powers will be absolutely amazing for exactly for hell tooth it will buff hell tooth you will be able to actually speed run do speed great rifts with hell tooth it's amazing i made a video about speed hell tooth great rift build you can check it i will put the link in the description so the beginning of the season will help will help too will be quite nice for which doctor thank you for watching guys wishing you amazing seasonal start and hope to see you in season 27